the Arctic is a very interesting ecosystem. It uh, accumulates a lot of mercury globally into the Arctic because it's a cold ecosystem. And once it's in the Arctic, it can move into fish and eventually get into things like polar bears and food sources for Inuit. It has a very large problem with mercury, a lot of contamination, and the people that live there end up feeling a lot of those effects. All of their contamination comes from somewhere else, but it affects them very strongly. Akpa and and Tira Tira and Kapila, all of them, all the birds and mercury is going out. So the underlying theme of a lot of my program is looking at how do global changes affect local ecosystems. So how does climate change, ozone depletion, movement of contaminants affect local ecosystems? A lot of it comes from things like coal-fired power plants. Um, human activities account for a lot of it, but they're also natural sources. You get mercury contamination from volcanoes, from forest fires, and things like that. We have what are called photoreactors, which we can simulate different wavelengths of solar radiation. And we can keep our frozen snow samples inside that photoreactor frozen, mm -hmm. and then we can measure how mercury changes form within that snow sample when we irradiate it. Knowing what happens with mercury in a particular location has implications for other locations that have similar conditions. In Canada now, we have probably one of the best mercury labs going. So we can analyze mercury in just about any form, uh, air, water, soil. I have got a lot of data very quickly. We've gotten to go to our site, do our experiments right there, and I'll come home with enough data to write a paper that year. Uh, what you look for in a good graduate student is someone that is, uh, takes the initiative. As a PhD student, I have to be able to rely on her to do a lot of the organization of the work, um, work with me in terms of development of the hypotheses and the experimental design. Definitely a mentoring sort of relationship. I can go to Nelson with questions, and he's right there able to answer questions, lead me down the path to answering them myself. That means that my research goes further faster. I get a lot more personal satisfaction out of things as well. Probably one of the biggest joys of my job is seeing students succeed and hearing from those students after and knowing that they've had a good experience and that they've gone on and they've found um, kind of fruitful and challenging work environments after they leave Acadia. My Acadia experience so far has been awesome. Um, it's a great facility, great supervisor, it's, it's been really, really good. I had no idea that it would be this good to be here. and that I would get this much experience in the lab and this much hands-on experience with a very educated supervisor who has a lot of experience in the field.